a woman recently shared that she had spent an afternoon journaling about what she is looking for in her ideal mate. And she became absolutely shocked as one by one, all three of her previous boyfriends began reaching out to her in the days following her journaling experience. So I asked her if she had thought about them during the journaling process, and she confirmed that not only had she thought of them, but she had also reflected on their best and worst qualities. And she said that as they reached out to her, each came back offering change in the specific area that she was not happy with. In Chapter 5 of Prayer, the Art of Believing, Neville Goddard teaches extensively about the law of thought transmission, and this woman's experience is the perfect example to reverse engineer, so you can see why and how the law of thought transmission works and prove it to yourself, so you can finally adopt the belief that is vital to effortlessly bringing more of what you do want into your life. First, we're going to look at why believing in the law of thought transmission is so vital to being able to use it and then how you can prove it to yourself. The words of Neville Goddard, a friend a thousand miles away is rooted in your consciousness through your fixed ideas of him. You think of him and represent him inwardly in the state you desire him to be confident that this subjective image is true, as if it were already objectified. It awakens in him a corresponding state which he must objectify. The modified light of consciousness reaches the one to whom it is directed, and impinges on the mirror of his mind. It causes his mind to vibrate according to the modification, and it goes. Thus, It produces in him what was mentally affirmed by you. The subject will express the awakened state within him and remain unaware of the true cause of his action. Now, if you're anything like me, you read these words from Neville Goddard and wonder, how can I start testing this in my own life so I can better understand and use it? And it's vital that we prove things to ourselves because belief is what moves us from struggling to effortlessly achieving. Think about the experience of learning to ride a bike. When everyone around you says, it's easy, you can do it. You want to believe, but still you have doubt. And that doubt is what causes you to waver and struggle. But when you gain the confidence and mastery through your own experience, You believe you no longer struggle to ride the bike. Now you just simply use the bike to get to where you want to go without even thinking about it. The same holds true for proving the law of thought transmission to yourself. You will experience a huge shift when you go from wanting to believe in the law of thought transmission to deeply believing because your own experiences have revealed the truth to you. This is the moment when you stop struggling and forcing. This is the moment when you get into flow and into your upward spiral. Because when you believe, you're no longer struggling and trying to force. You naturally make choices and attune your consciousness based on what is aligned with where you want to go in life just like riding the bike. In the ancient world, of course, these practices were the norm and were understood through the lens of frequency and vibration. But in the modern world, up until recently, they were relegated to the world of metaphysics and considered by the mainstream to be fringe concepts. This can make it harder to drum up the belief that is so vital to your natural success when you're surrounded by mainstream beliefs that contradict these fundamental operating principles. But the good news is that the mainstream tides are turning. In another video on the law of thought transmission, I explained how we are now better able to understand the mechanisms behind these principles 
through the lens of frequency and vibration, and with the help of modern research in quantum physics. And even more recently, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Elaine Aspect, John F. Clauser, and Anton Zielinger for their work in quantum entanglement and non-local realism. Modern research, such as this, brings the formerly metaphysical theories and philosophies into the concrete ground of modern scientific experiment. This is very important because we are all conditioned to foster belief based on scientific experiment, and therefore it makes it much easier for the average person to adopt the beliefs that are so vital to the mastery and use of these principles. In fact, Eva Olson, a member of the Nobel Committee for Physics, stated, Aspect, Klosser's, and Zeelinger's work has opened doors to another world. Of course, we know that Neville Goddard and so many others have already opened these doors to us. Neville Goddard described the law of thought transmission in this way. The modified light of consciousness reaches the one to whom it is directed and impinges on the mirror of his mind. It causes his mind to vibrate according to the modification, and it goes. Thus, it produces in him what was mentally affirmed by you. So how can you prove this to yourself? So you can shift from the doubt-based struggle to belief-based flow? Well, you might be tempted to set up an experiment, I know I was, and this is not advisable simply because of the lingering doubt that we have in our subconscious mind. And this lingering doubt is going to influence the results of the experiment. And this is where we come back to the young lady, the one who had journaled about her ideal mate and had all of her ex-boyfriends showing up, offering what they previously lacked in the relationship. Now, what do we know about this situation? We know that she was in a relaxed state, as Neville Goddard would advise, a state akin to sleep, and what we know as the alpha brainwave state. She wasn't trying to force anything to happen, as is so often the case with our approaches to manifesting. We know that her intentions and emotions were earnest. Again, she wasn't trying to force anything to happen. She had a sincere and intense conviction about what aligned with her, with her needs and her desires. She was projecting this from the inside out. The nature of her thoughts was transmitted to the gentleman, and as Neville states, it causes his mind to vibrate according to the modification, and it goes. Thus, it produces in him what was mentally affirmed by you. Now you can use these insights from her experience to guide your own process of proving the law of thought transmission to yourself so you can foster those game-changing beliefs within yourself. Instead of setting up an experiment, you wanna use your awareness to notice the synchronicities and connections that are already happening. The more you do this, the more clearly you can see and understand the connections. This insight will internally motivate you to explore new thought patterns in yourself. And then again, you will see the new results and you will be further bolstered by your belief in and understanding of the law of thought transmission. Having this experience gets you into an unstoppable upward spiral. As you continue to make the personal choices and shift your own thought patterns, simply so they align with the kind of experiences that you do want to show up in your life. Now, the big difference here is that you are now naturally making choices from within based on your highest and greatest good. You're not making them because you're struggling to manipulate something that is outside of you. And this is where life starts to exceed even your wildest expectations. And yes, you can do this easily just by choosing to become aware of the connections that are already going on all around you. I'll share three personal examples so you can imagine what this process might look like for you. 
The first one was a very painful experience that I had with someone in my life. And when I reflected honestly within myself about my emotionalized thoughts before this happened, I realized that I had silently judged them in my mind. And then I could very clearly see the direct correlation between their actions and my preceding thoughts. And you better believe this inspired me to become even more aware of my emotionalized thoughts about other people and start bringing them into check. So when I feel myself going down this path, I am internally motivated to automatically check myself before I wreck myself because I have developed a belief in and understanding of the law of thought transmission simply through my own experience. In another example, I was having a challenging experience with someone and I finally decided to just let my thoughts and feelings about them go. I showed up, I faced the situation head on based on the outcomes that were aligned with me and what I wanted to happen. And I just stopped thinking about the person. I stopped thinking about the situation. Now, unsurprisingly, they decided to drop the whole thing and the whole situation disappeared quite literally overnight. A third example is something that happened just two weeks ago, and it follows the same patterns as we saw with the young lady and her story. I was thinking about a friend that I had not spoken to or seen in over a year, and she was so nice to me. So when I thought about her, I thought about all these wonderful things she did for me and how much I appreciate her. And I also thought about how nice it would be to reconnect with her. And the very next morning, she called me. Now, because I am aware of and noticing the connections between my thoughts that have intense conviction and what shows up in my life, then I naturally and subconsciously start to navigate to thought patterns that support bringing more of what I do want into my life. You can do this too. You are powerful. I believe deeply that none of us come into this existence to experience a life of mediocrity. We come here to explore, to thrive, and to grow. So please go out and have fun with this in your life and use it to bolster your own belief in the law of thought transmission and get into your own upward spiral. Share your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and keep watching. I'll see you in the next video.